Hello, kindergarten. Good morning. Today we're going to read a very special math story. It is called Tally O'Malley. And I thought this would be the perfect story for today because you did a phenomenal job last week with your tally work. As I was looking through them over the weekend, I was thinking, wow. And if, you're, if you looked on your Seesaw journal, I shared a few examples from different friends, um, Elliot and Elsie and Zell. I think I shared some of their work. I loved how they did, they took different approaches. Some of them typed the answer. Some of them wrote the answer with the tools on Seesaw. Oh, and Roman, and then Roman and Elsie, they decided to practice on paper, and then they took a picture and posted it to Seesaw. All of those are wonderful ways to show me your work on tally marks and anything else. So today we're going to read Tally O'Malley as our story, and I hope you have some fun with me today. Now this math story is by Stuart J. Murphy, and it was illustrated by someone, an illustrator named Cynthia Jabbar. And if you see on the front cover here, we have this character and she's holding up a piece of paper and it says Nell, Nell is a name. And then we have five, 10, 15 tally marks. And you practiced this last week, you know that it goes one, two, three, four lines down and the fifth line across. I wonder what Nell is writing tallies about. Hmm, you wanna find out? Me too. Oh, my summer vacation by Nell. And here we have mom, I, wait a minute, hold the phone. Can I give Nell a compliment because I see this page that it looks like she drew. She has words, she has labels, she has illustrations and photos with so much detail. Wow, Nell must have gone to kindergarten, I bet. Anywho, we have mom, dad, and then it says, that's me, Nell. So this is Nell, Bridget, and Eric. And then on this side, it says, Mom's coffee, and there's a bunch of tally marks. I wonder if that means how many coffees that Nell's mom drank. Dad's donuts, say cheese pictures, so that might be how many pictures they took on their vacation. And then it says the lovely mom, the tickle toes dad. Oh, I'm so excited to hear it. It sounds like this might be about someone's summer vacation, which is coming up for us really soon. In about a month, we'll be on summer vacation. Whoa, look at this page of tallies. Oh my goodness, let's just look at a couple of the things that are here. Ice cream cones, mosquito bites, times that dad was caught snoring. Oh, wow. It seems like Nell is making tally charts or a list of tallies for almost everything, which is something that you can also do too. Tally O'Malley. Tally O'Malley. The O'Malleys were ready to go on vacation. Almost ready, that is. Did you pack the beach towels? Asked dad. Did you lock the back door? Asked mom. Come on, Shamrock, get in, ordered Eric, pulling on the dog's leash. I can't find my sunglasses, said Nell. Look what I see. Bridget, everybody yelled, hurry up or we'll never get there. Finally, they were on their way. They had been on the road for almost three hours when Eric grumbled, Oh, aren't we ever going to get there? Oh, Shamrock's breathing on me, said Bridget. I can't find my baseball hat, said Nell. Hmm, why don't we play a tally game, suggested Mom. <clears throat> Excuse me. First, they had to decide on something to count. Let's do cars, said Eric. 
He loved tally games because he almost always won. Okay, said mom, pick your colors. I take silver, said Eric. I take blue, said Bridget. What about you, Nell? Red, answered Nell. Red was her favorite color. Eric laughed. You always pick red and you never win, he said. What's your favorite color? Mine is purple. There are not many purple cars though. Mom handed out paper and pencils. Do you remember how to play now? Asked Bridget. When you see a red car, you make one tally mark. Then make another for each red car you see. When you're up to three, it will look like this. One, two, three. When you get to five, you make a little bundle so they're easy to count. One, two, three, four, and five across. This will be a 20 minute game, explained mom. Ready, set, go. There's a silver one, said Eric immediately, and two more over there. I see a blue one, said Bridget, and another one right behind it. Ha, I found a red one, said Nell. Nell, there's another one, said her dad. Hey, no helping, said Eric. Time's up, said mom, just as they pulled into a rest stop for lunch. Now let's look at what the tally, what the tally totals were. Eric had, let's see, can you see that? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So Eric had twelve. Let's count Nell's. One, two, three, four, five, six. She had six total. And Bridget, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we could also count this by fives. Five, ten. So Eric found the most cars, Nell found the least, and Bridget was in between. Isn't that cute how Bridget uses a little flower to dot her eye? Dad took Shamrock for a walk while they counted up their tally marks. I win, Eric shouted. I always win. You get to wear the tally medal, said Mom. The medal was really a plastic Shamrock that Dad had given the dog on her first birthday. You think you're so great, whined Bridget. Tally O'Malley. So they're calling, um... Eric Tally O'Malley because he had the most. The line for hamburgers was very long. I'm hungry, said Bridget. I want ice cream, said Nell. Can we play video games, asked Eric. Let's play another tally game, said Dad. We can't count cars here, said Bridget. Let's do t-shirts. I call yellow, said Eric. Green, called Bridget. Red, called Nell. Eric laughed. Red never wins, he said. The line moved forward an inch at, an inch at a time. They counted every t-shirt they could see. So here we see a line of people and all their different colored t-shirts as they're waiting to eat. It looks like they're at Mum's Barbecue. Oh, I see a lot of green shirts. I think Bridget called green. Let's see what happened. Here are the totals. Eric had one, two, three, four. Nell had two. Bridget had, oh, we can count by fives. Five, ten. So who was the winner for that one? Bridget. It's almost our turn, said Dad. Game's over. Let's add up your marks. I win, shouted Bridget. Mom took the shamrock medal from Eric and placed it around Bridget's neck. You won't have that tally medal for long, said Eric. Oh yeah, tally O'Malley, Bridget replied. There's a little bit of a competition there. Everyone was really full after lunch. Eric, Bridget, and Nell, Nell slept most of, the rest, most of the rest of the way to the beach. Finally, they arrived. They had just gotten out of the car when they heard a train whistle in the distance. Let's count the train cars, said Eric. I pick the black ones. I'll take gray, said Bridget. 
Do you want red again, Nell? Yes, said Nell. It's my favorite. Oh, you never learn, said her brother, Eric. What do you predict? What might happen next? Do you think there will be any red train cars? Let's find out. There's the engine, said Eric, and it's black. One for me. No fair, said Bridget. An engine's not a car. A red car went by, then another, then another. And here we can see Nell is keeping tallies. How many is she at right here? Five. The next car was red too, and the next one after that. The train rattled past. Finally, the caboose went by. It was red. There were hardly any black cars, said Eric, or gray ones either, said Bridget. Let's see those tally sheets, said Mom. And then she counted them up. Eric had one. Nell had five, 10, 15. And Bridget had three, so who was the winner? Nell had the most tallies. And so mom said, Nell wins. Bridget handed the shamrock medal to Nell. Then she, point, then she noticed a sign near the tracks. Look at that, she said, that's why Nell won. And it said, the sign says, travel the red line. So the train was called the red line. In Chicago, we also have a red line, but the cars, I don't think that they're red. I think they're silver. Hey, no, that's not fair, said Eric. It seems fair to me, said Nell. So from now on, I want you to call me Tally O'Malley. The end. What a fun tally book that was. Thank you for joining me. Now, you don't have to be on vacation like Nell and her family to, to, to count things and make tally marks. You could do a tally chart for, oh, I don't know, maybe how many flowers or different color flowers you see outside if you're taking a walk. You could tally up, um, you could look at your Legos or your blocks or your magnet tiles and tally the different shapes or tally the colors. Maybe you can tally, you can think about all of your family. Maybe you have a picture you can look at of your family members and you can tally how many aunts there are, how many uncles, how many cousins. That might be sort of fun. You can look in your closet or in your drawer and tally the different color shoes you have. Or you can do a tally chart of how many shoes have laces and how many shoes have straps or Velcro or none at all. I think that sounds so fun. So here's another idea for you to really stretch your brain at home and do something that's not only fun, but also practicing your tally marks. And then maybe you can have the title Tally O'Malley. All right, kindergarten, thanks for joining me and I will talk with you soon. I miss you and I love you so, so, so much. Bye.